This is how you know you're in a touristy area of San Diego. All these taxis. <laughs> Look at that. Just a row of taxis looking to pick up all the tourists. <laughs> Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, as always. Just taking a, a little ride for lunch. I wanted to make my video response to SoCal Ninja Rider. He called me out on uh, a topic about common rider mistakes that we make. And uh, so this is my reply. I wasn't aware of this until he hit me up, but uh, there's a couple of people that have been doing something called Moto Talk, I think it's called. Uh, you have the White Ninja 636, the Goat Father, <laughs> which is an awesome name by the way, and um, SoCal Ninja Rider, where basically someone brings up a topic and they call people out and they talk about it. So uh, thanks for the shout out and calling me out on this one, uh, really cool topic. And so we'll jump right into that shit. First few things you really covered in your video, a uh, SoCal Ninja Rider. And so, but I, I figured I'd just talk on them too um, and kind of share my thoughts on them. And you know, I mean, it never hurts to, to say it twice, right? Uh, one of the things that you talked about and I thought was very important and most people don't understand is what's called target fixation. Uh, it's a real problem. I've fallen, I've fallen prey to it and have had issues with it uh, where you're looking into a turn uh, or you're driving into a turn possibly and maybe instead of looking through the turn you look at the cliff because you're afraid of falling through um, and you actually go, obviously if you're a rider you know, you go where you're going to look and so if you're looking at the cliff, well, you're going to go off it. So. Um, that's one of the biggest problems where you really have to tell your brain to, to stop it and sit there and be like stop it stupid <laughs> Look through the turn, right? Yeah, look at that view, right? This is one of those views where I really wish The GoPro would do it justice. I don't know if you could tell man like You miss out on on the smells the ocean smells um, I, Sorry to take it off topic, but man it is a freaking beautiful day out. Anyways, target fixation. You definitely want to be aware of it and know when you're doing it. I find that uh, when I'm taking a, a pretty big turn in my mind, I have to tell myself, hey, hey, stupid, pay attention, you know, look through the turn. Uh, and that seems to work for me. The other point that you brought up was about gear. Uh, gear is obviously very uh, important. I'm not the type of person that's going to push all gear all the time. I mean, obviously, as you can see, um, I'm taking a, a quick lunch break and I didn't feel like putting on my gear. It's a beautiful day out. And um, so I came out, but I got my gloves on and got my helmet on. The one thing that always gets me about gear is how some people just don't put on helmets. Like, I, I just don't understand that. I don't know if you can see this dude out there. That's pretty sick. He's out there on, like, some sort of longboard just kind of paddling. That's how you chill. That's how we do it out here in San Diego. <laughs> so, oh yeah. Sorry, man. I got distracted again. But, uh, yeah. So, I don't know how people can ride without a helmet. Now, that that's just insane to me. Like, I don't understand that. I mean, out of all your gear, the helmet is what's going to save your life. I mean, the jacket's cool. It'll probably save you from some major road rash. <coughs> right? And uh, obviously gloves will keep your hands from getting all rash rashed up, but it's not going to save your life where a helmet is. So that's just my, my viewpoint on it. So the next point I wanted to talk about that he had mentioned uh, is using both brakes. Uh, I know I've talked to some people where they only use the front brake, which I don't know, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, like SoCal Ninja. I went to the MSF course where they really preached about using both brakes. Uh, and there's a couple reasons is, uh, like, like you mentioned is one is, why not use all of your stopping power? Like why would you just use the front brake? That, uh, if, if you don't have ABS, you're just asking for disaster. I mean, possibly grabbing too much and going forward, um, those types of things. So 
It's like leaving money on the table, man. You use all your braking power. And the second point to that is, is that if you're in a, if you're almost in an accident and you slam on your brakes, if you constantly use both brakes, it's habit to use both brakes. And you're gonna have more stopping power when you need it. You're not gonna do this and then go, oh yeah, I should hit my back brake too in that couple of milliseconds. Um, you lose the stopping power. So <clears throat> that's the second point to making sure that you use both brakes every time. <laughs> Welcome to Shelter Island. <laughs> All right, so a couple things that were not discussed in the video that I wanted to bring up were one of the things that I see a lot in videos where, where there's crashes and the rider like drops a bike and it slides and he doesn't even hit the car or someone cuts him off and then he crashes he drops he dumps his bike and slides across the ground and the bike never even touches the vehicle and that's the thing you shouldn't be dropping your bike you have more stopping power on two wheels versus letting it slide across the ground if you're gonna be in that if you're almost in an accident like that stay on two wheels man don't don't turn it don't drop it stay on your wheels more than likely you're gonna be able to stop in time and I know it's hard to do it's like a instinct to just kind of dump the bike but you're gonna save yourself a headache if you just stay on the bike and you stay on your brakes like we mentioned earlier you have more stopping power using both brakes <laughs> and obviously using both tires with the both tires down so that's one of the, the big mistakes I see a lot of riders do in videos where they crash is they have plenty of time to stop and they just dump the bike uh, and you know what I I understand why they do it like I said it's, it's just your instinct but there's a lot of instincts that you on a bike that you have to fight against and that's one of them that will cause you uh, some grief if you don't do it so yeah you stay on two wheels keep your bike up and use all your biking power check that shit out can you guys see that that's badass. That's why I love riding down here, man. You see all the helicopters and all the military shit. <clears throat> and then my next point, and you probably hear this time and time again, is uh, ride your own ride. And I can't stress that enough, man. If you go out riding with people, don't try to keep up with them if you can't keep up with them. Ride your own ride. It, it doesn't make you look any cooler or... Uh, any more badass when you lay your bike down or you're laying in a hospital because you try to keep up with someone that had more experience with you that's been riding a lot longer so I mean that's my last point on this is always 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 ride your own ride doesn't matter what's going on just go at your own pace uh, where at the point where you feel comfortable if, you, if you're uncomfortable while riding then you need to fix that you should be very comfortable on your bike. <laughs> Check this out. Oh man, I love San Diego. Look at that. Those guys out here chilling. <laughs> oh man, it's great. I love it. I think we're going to have to take some Instagram pictures. Some Instagram a few photos take this photo opportunity I just gotta find the spot I'm probably gonna get in trouble for this, but fuck it. This picture looks too, too badass. Guys, well, I really appreciate the invite, SoCal Ninja Rider. It was a great topic. Uh, hopefully this video does uh, your photo talk justice. And this view, <laughs> I know you guys wish you guys were out here. But um, yeah, make sure you guys check out the links below. Check out some of my other videos. Hit that subscribe button over there. 
I very much appreciate it. I love seeing you guys uh, comment down below. Interacting with you guys, like I always say, is probably my favorite part about motovlogging is the interaction and the community that we have, uh, which is awesome. Make sure you guys go check out the other guys, the White Ninja 636 and uh, the Goat Father and SoCal Ninja Rider. I'll put their links down below in the description. Or if you already clicked on them from the beginning of the video, uh, good on you. Duckies, come here. Quack, 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 quack. Come here. Come here. It's like, what the fuck is that thing? Quack, quack, quack. Is that a boy and a woman? A man and a woman? Those are little ducks. Anyways, <laughs> until next time, ladies and gentlemen, ride safe and peace.